there's bait. <laughs> that guy came in out of nowhere. Just saw him flash right on the fish finder there. See if we got brook trout or rainbow trout here. Feels like a decent fish. Oh, it's a big, big brookie. Nice. That's exciting. That's what I came here for. Some big trout. Hey, it looks like a big hen. Smash this little orange tungsten jig. Oh, yes. Ooh, come here. There you go, sweetie. That is a nice fish. That is a beautiful fish. The size of that brookie. Awesome. Boy, that's a big brookie. Her tail's all messed up from probably from digging false reds this fall. Really pretty. Hit that little tiger orange tungsten jig. All right, let's get her going. Yeah, she's got a little eggs there. All right, see you later, sweetie. Peace. Nasty. Sweet. First fish of the morning. Get those gloves back on. I don't like to have my gloves on when I'm doing catch and release fishing. Today I'm using my little Garmin Striker cast. I love this little portable sonar. It just hooks up to my phone. And uh, it's just so nice because it's so lightweight. Just carry around my pocket. I can really just hole hop all day and don't have to haul around a fish finder. Freeze up my hands. I can literally just shove it in my pocket along with my bait. I caught this. So I caught that uh, hen right here in like four to six foot of water. Most of the time early season, you know, above these weed beds is where I'm going to find most of my fish. I tend to like to jig right above the weeds so that fish that are cruising, you know, 10, 15 foot away in either direction can see, uh, rather than down in the weeds. If I was going after panfish and stuff, I would be down in the weeds because I know that the bluegills and perch and stuff, they snake around inside those weeds, but the trout tend to hang out just above them. You can try adjusting the sensitivity back a little bit here by pushing the gain down. See, it makes it harder to see the, uh, jig. I kind of like the game a little bit higher. Even though it masks what's going on in the weeds a little bit. I just like that stronger return on the uh, lure itself. There we go. You can go to auto. Auto does an okay job. But it tends to uh, under detect these small jigs. You can see it just barely sees it. It's okay. It does clean up those weeds down there a little bit nicer. You can also try changing your frequency by going to more settings and change it to 455 kilohertz. That tends to give you a little bit stronger signal in shallow water. Push down the gain a little bit. Kind of got to experiment with what works best at different settings, different depths. I'm gonna go back to 260 kilohertz. I always have my scroll speed up at the top speed of 10. That way you can detect those fish that come in right away. You can see the history a little bit better. All right, eight feet deep out here, a little deeper. A little bit harder bottom, not as much weeds out here. You can see it just, once the jig goes down the bottom, it just stops on my rod tip there. I'll push up my gain a little bit here. If I can get a harder return. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, well, we'll give it a try out here. I generally don't do as well above hard bottoms as I do above weeds, but... Give it a shot. 
my experience is that brookies tend to sneak in along the bottom and rainbows tend to kind of come in mid column kind of spatially segregate Let's see what happens when we change the frequency here to 260 oh yeah it's a lot stronger I like that I'm gonna stick with that must be a little bit of weeds down there sticking up. It's picking up on the edge of the cone. That's what the little light green band along the bottom is. Probably a little weed or stick sticking up on the edge of the sonar cone. Oh, oh smashed it. Weather well, is coming in out of nowhere right now. That was right along the bottom. Wondering what we got here. Oh, yep, another big brookie like I expected it to be. Like another hen. It's funny, those brookies, they love to sneak in along the bottom. They don't waste any time. I get its head turned here. Another big hen. Oh, yeah. Great fish. That is a nice fish. Nice bite on it. You're getting my camera all wet there, sweetie. There you go. A little wet there on the camera. You got a nice size hen. Just barely got her right in the tip of the beak there. All right, let's get her going. See you later, sweetie. Sweet. Well, she was energetic. She got everything wet. My camera, my phone, my glasses. So I always got to carry a couple little claws. You can never have enough lens claws when you're a content creator. All right, so far. And the brookie show. There you guys go. You're back with me. Well, so far, the little Garmin cast sonar has been more useful for just figuring out how deep I am than actually marking fish because they're just coming in straight away and smacking it. In my experience, once I get one fish out of a hole, I'll generally see a few more in the next five, ten minutes. So I'm going to double bait again with two wax worms. In fact, there might be one down there now. I think I just saw something sneak along the bottom. Let's see. <laughs> I told you. That's crazy. Just saw that guy come up the bottom there. That's how it always is. Once where there's one, there's two. <laughs> That's great. I love it when the fish make it look like I uh, know what I'm talking about. Ooh, this guy's super spunky. Whoa, this is a big brookie, dude. This thing has got thick head. Oh, so pretty. I hope I can, it's a big buck. I hope I can get this through the through the ice. It's got just gorgeous colors on it. But he's a tank. That is one of the most beautiful brook trout I've seen. This is one of the most beautiful brookies I've seen this winter. Come here, buddy. Oh, I want you so bad. Through the ice. God, he's huge. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, no. I hate when they swirl like that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at the size of that dude. He is awesome. Oh, that's sweet. Look at this colors on that brookie. Tail's all funked up like the other ones, but 
Man, look at the spotting in orange. That is so pretty. Woo, what a beast. Look how thick he is. Big old buck. I love these guys and their colors. So gorgeous. Let's get him going. Yeah. All right. Let's get that Garmin. That one, I was actually able to detect the fish on the bottom. I just saw a little bit of red elevated on the bottom there. But man, they are holding tight. That's just what those guys do. If I see a fish like suspended mid column, like at, you know, four or five feet off the bottom, it's almost always going to be a rainbow. The brooks go deep and hold tight. That's a monster. I'm going to put triple wax worm on here. Go big or go home, right? Oh, there's a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Crazy. It's just been fish after fish. Three in a row, like in minutes. Oh, he popped off. That sucks. Okay. I've had a lot of my brook trout ice fishing lakes this, this winter have been like, you gotta be like hard on the bottom for the brookies. It's weird, like if you're just a couple feet off, they just won't even come up to take a sniff. They'll just swim underneath it. Won't even bother. So I think I'm gonna keep keep tight to the bottom. That's where I'm having success this year. There's a fish. Come on, come back. There he is, got him. All right, glad I stuck it out in this hole. So I'm coming to sniff it for a little bit. Feels like a nice fish. Probably gonna be another brookie since it was right on the bottom there. Oh yeah, another nice brookie. Tire out down there a little bit. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Tail's a little bit ragged. It's got some cool little black spots on it, too. Nice fish. All right, man. That's a great morning. I think I caught five fish and I hooked six, saw several others. I'll take that any day. All right, what a great morning. Really beautiful weather, stunning brookies, really fat bodied fish that were fighting hard and aggressive. Love that inky mouth. All right guys, I'll put links to that uh, little Garmin cast sonar that I've used. I love it. I've been using it all over the world from kayaks and out on the ice. I just really like it just for its portability. And I'll see you guys next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder.